Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing Civilization. Um, this is a really popular game. Almost anyone who's played any kind of computer game, any simulation game, has played Civilization. At, le at least most people that I know. Um, I do like this game uh, mainly because of the artwork. The artwork, if you notice, you know, there's a ferret on here and then the city built on top. But if you look closer, you could tell that they actually made it out of cardboard first and then photographed it. Just as it's Microsoft Windows compatible, so I guess any Microsoft machine will work on it. Although I played it on Windows 98, if I'm not mistaken. On the side, it just has the micro pros and the title. And these are the three and a half inch disc. In the back, you have information. I'm assuming the copy that I have is a re release, uh, mainly because over here it says that it's award winning and gives all the awards that it's won as well as uh, down here, selected by Games Magazine, top 100. Yeah, so it works on Windows 3.1 or later. So, there's nothing on the top or the bottom because this is just the slip cover. So, we take it off and we go ahead and open the box. Uh, first thing we get are four discs. Then we get the warranty information. Then again, just a reminder to send in the warranty information. Fill it out and send it in. I wonder if anyone ever filled these out and sent them in. These just to make room, okay. And then this is an ad to call and get hints, which was really expensive. I mean, we take a lot of things for granted uh, back then. If you needed help, it would cost you a lot of money. Uh, nowadays, just go online. And then the micro pros um, ad for uh, well, the catalog for their other games. I like how their catalog is always very well detailed. Uh, this right here, Blood Net, that's my favorite game ever. I absolutely loved it. So, yeah. And then you get technical supplements, which just gives you some information about, um, you know, how to save your game, back it up, additional features like, you know, naming your tribe, keeping your people happy as well as some of the shortcuts and the keys. And then, of course, we have finally your manual. Now, I absolutely love the manual. As you can see, this is a much more cleaner look um, compared to uh, the cover of the magazine. So as you can see, it's definitely a beautiful um, design. The back it just says that. And it's a very thick book, as you can see. So, it starts off with the image of uh, tribes, you know, early man, and behind them is the city, civilization, I guess you call it. And then, you know, it goes into all the details, introduction about civilizations, how they started. And then it goes on to, you know, interfaces and things like that. So, there's really no design work in the manual. You know, it'll have, you know, your screenshots, artwork, and then tons of in other information. But it never really, you know, doesn't have any kind of like designs around it. However, it's very well detailed. It gives you all the information that you need about civilizations, how to build them, um, how people were state were happy, warfare, uh, advances in technology, and all the other information that you need. As you can see, it gets pretty detailed as far as um, the information that you need. That was kind of funny, the last one was labor unions. And then it goes into the scientists. So yeah, very, very well detailed. Now, um, the best thing, in my opinion, about the packaging for Civilization is actually inside this manual. 
So towards the end, if you open it up after the credits, you get this. Now this is uh, the advances chart. Kind of shows you um, how you advance through the game. So if you look over here, you start you know with horseback riding for the cavalry, um, burials for the uh, for the temples, things like that, and it goes on to mysticism, astronomy, navigation. Um, you know, navigation. You know, they learn from physics, and then from physics they create the steam engine. It goes all the way, and then the final things was nuclear power and fusion power for when you get to the space age. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, look at how huge it is, and this kind of ensures that this part of it never gets lost. So yeah, um, that is it for Civilization. Uh, definitely a great game to add to your collection. Uh, like I said, um, one of the very first early, uh, how do you call it, simulation games. And by far one of the, the best and most recognized. So um, if you ever get a chance to get this game, I would highly recommend it, if anything, just for the artwork. Like I said, whoever actually did the um, the prototype for the background in order for it to be photographed did an absolutely amazing job. Thank you guys and um, thanks again for watching my channel. Please like, share, subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.